Hey, what's up, YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I have the Mavic Mini and a leaf blower. We're gonna see how this thing does in some serious wind, so stay tuned. Okay, so if you saw my Mavic Mini review, you know that I am, first of all, a big fan of this little guy. For as small and inexpensive as it is, it's pretty amazing. And I did fly it in my review in some pretty serious wind. We had uh, 20 mile an hour winds going that day with gusts um, that, that were really getting up there. And it was fighting that wind and doing pretty well. But I wanted to see how far can you push this thing before it won't handle the wind anymore. So I brought my leaf blower, I brought my anemometer, I think that's how you say it. It's the uh, wind speed indicator with a little fan in it. And I'm gonna test it. Basically what I'm gonna do is launch the uh, Mavic Mini, park it right over here within say a foot of the anemometer. I'm just gonna call it the wind speed indicator. And then I'm going to step back away from it, turn on, turn on the leaf blower and start quite a ways back and then get closer and closer with the leaf blower so that the speed starts to increase and basically try to have the Mavic Mini hovering in line with the, um, with the wind speed indicator so that basically the wind that's hitting the wind speed indicator is also hitting the Mavic Mini. I know it's not super scientific, but we were able to just now testing get a wind gust of 50 miles an hour in this thing using this, uh, using this thing. So I got to think a 50 mile an hour wind is going to push this around, but we'll see. So let's get it up in the air and see what happens. And here it is. Looks like it's hovering. There is a bit of a breeze right now. As a matter of fact, it is a Five point eight mile per hour breeze blowing, so it's already got that. It's already fighting that. So what I'm going to do is bring it over here. It's going to be sideways to the to this thing. So basically, right now it's uh, in line with it, and it's sideways, so that basically it's going to have to dip over to its side in order to fight the wind. I know it's not going to be super precise because it hovers around a little bit, but let's just see what happens and how much wind it seems like it can take. Okay, so I'm going to back way up. I'm going to turn the leaf blower on. make sure it doesn't hit the uh, wind speed indicator. That was actually pretty impressive. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the wind speed was, but we'll see in the replay. But it did not really move. It started to spin at one point, but it didn't move. All right, so one more time, we realize this is not 100% scientific again. So, you know, you can point that out to us, but we already know it. So I'm gonna step back turn on the leaf blower and start walking towards uh, the wind speed indicator and the drone and try to keep kind of lined up with the two of them. And let's see how fast it gets going before it actually starts to spin or, or lose it. Um, and then Vinny, just, yeah, if you can just keep the, uh, keep the focus on this for the speed. All right, here we go.
Okay, so it did pretty well in the first test. Obviously, when it got too much, it started to spin. I think what was probably happening, it was, it was hitting one or two of the legs uh, more than the rest of it, you know, and it was just causing it to spin. This is not a big, wide swath of wind. It's kind of a narrow, focused swath of wind. But it's hard to tell exactly how fast the wind is going when you're at a certain distance from that because we're trying to shoot through this thing and hit it. So what we're gonna do is one more experiment. I'm gonna just stand one foot away from this thing and I'm gonna blow the uh, leaf blower on high into it to see how fast that um, makes this turn, what the speed is. And then we're gonna get one foot away from the drone without this and we'll know that the wind is going about that same speed because we just tested it. So let's try that out. So here we go, we're gonna see how fast this is at approximately, would you say that's about a foot? I think it's about a foot. To get a fairly consistent reading? Wow, okay, 55 or 60. So now I'm gonna move this thing and put the drone right in that same spot and then uh, get it to one foot and see, uh, you know, knowing that the wind is probably about between 50 and 60 miles an hour. So move this over here. By the way, I love the fact that the uh, little case acts as such a nice little um, launch pad for this thing. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna turn on the leaf blower. I'm not gonna do it right at it, uh, right, right, just immediately turn it on at that, because I feel like uh, that's unfair. I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna try and walk up and get within a foot of it, so let's see what happens. Now, will it still fly okay? Yeah, I mean, we didn't mess anything up on it as far as flight goes. So my conclusion through all this is, yes, it can fly very well in the wind. Uh, my other conclusion is that it doesn't really uh, lose its position. It just tends to start spinning when it gets hit with a lot of wind. Although, again, this is more focused wind, so it might have just been hitting one side more than the other. But for a little drone that's 249 grams, that's pretty amazing that it can handle the wind that well. Uh, I'd love your comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and certainly please subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone for more videos about drones, the Mavic Mini, and all kinds of fun stuff. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.